In Antarctica, the ground is even colder than Siberia, and it's been frozen for much longer. This is the closest place on Earth to conditions on Mars. The Russians have now teamed up with NASA scientists to drill here. A few months ago, they found bacteria which may turn out to have been at minus 20 degrees for more than 10 million years. We have some data, but we are not sure 100%. But probably we have now the isolated bacteria from Antarctic permafrost. It's between 8 and 15 million years old. Bacteria have been buried here in frozen ground since before the beginning of human evolution. If life can survive in Antarctica for 15 million years, then something could be waiting to be revived on Mars. And last summer, Mars Global Surveyor sent back another extraordinary set of pictures which suggest that in places, the Martian permafrost has been melting. The camera has detected hundreds of examples of cliff sides on Mars with little gullies running down the cliffs. Now, these look exactly like uh, gullies that would form on the Earth when, when an underground aquifer comes out the side of a cliff, a little bit of water comes out, runs down the gully, it makes a seep, it just keeps eroding down there. These cases on Mars, and you have a gully running down, then you, in many cases, you even have a little mud-like deposit at the bottom. These gullies must be very recent. There's no sign of any erosion by the wind. So if they were carved by water, our whole view of Mars would have to change. It means there could be liquid water just below the surface, right now. <laughs>